All right, everyone around me is burning off fuel, and we're gonna see how this goes. USF 2000 at Milwaukee. Um, full field. We've got 16 people signed up for it. Qualified third. Look at the qualifying times there: 4:07 to my 4:30. And then, uh, pretty much fourth place, I think, uh, maybe fifth might be a challenge. I don't know. We'll see. It's, I haven't done a whole lot of running in traffic, so we could have some issues and, uh, not sure, really not sure how this is going to go. Get ready. Going green. Leader hanging back, so got to be watching out for the early start here. Alright, good start there. Not gonna challenge for the lead. No need to waste time doing that right now. Happy with where I am. Just got to not burn the fronts off of them. Giving okay, myself a bit more room. He should be wrecking going over that curb, but. We'll see. Um, could be burning up my tires too much right now in traffic. Definitely having to lift a lot more than I want to, but it appears everyone behind is also having those issues. He's not getting a good exit with that line, though. I feel like it's upsetting the car with him going down onto the apron, but we'll see. He's the number one guy, so. But it is road eye rating, so. Uh, just trying to keep the tires on it at the moment, and then we'll worry about things later on. He got a bad exit there, so. It's a really bad out of two. I've yet to even push it. Not sure if I can even push it with the arrow push. The guy behind's running just a little bit higher of a line, it looks like. And we got some lap traffic. Looks like a damaged car. That's going to make this corner interesting. Very bad position. Catch that guy. Not a little what you can do about situations like that, though. Is catching. It's just this type of racing. You can't, like, I can't break through this gap that's there. Had the same problem at Raceway Park. Just couldn't get close enough. So everyone's just kind of stuck where they are. But we'll see. Hopefully the uh, third place car doesn't prove me wrong on that and get a run on me. Hesitated on my turn in there. Hard through first 
first quarter of the corner there. Got a bad push middle. Luckily, it looks like arrow is a bigger factor than hitting the perfect line. So, got lucky with that start, moving up to second. Maybe should have been more aggressive there right at the beginning. But I don't think I would have got past this guy anyways. Oh, he got the wall. He didn't get damaged, but he might have uh, knocked the toe out. I think he's getting pretty tight right now. us it looks like they are actually passing each other but um, right now we're just in a train no one can really do much eight minutes 30 seconds left in the race it is a timed race it's just how the series is 15 minutes for every race so when you go to ovals it is also timed Just inching a little bit farther away from me now. Overdriving the entry of the corner is not helping me, so we're going to try some other things. Not that anything is too much different from one way or the other, but we're going to kind of roll it in more. Got a little loose as he went over the curb that time. like that 0.7 mark is just the limit. Because the guy behind has not been able to break through that. second ahead, one second back. Got a wrecked car heading into the pits. Just can't can't do anything. It's just the nature of these cars. You've seen it 
in the IndyCar race, if you watch the Gateway race, they just kind of got to the back of the field and couldn't do much, and the second place guy couldn't do a whole lot. It's just uh, downforce and flat turns. But, with these lap cars coming up, maybe that's going to change things up. We've got five minutes. Never know what can happen, so. Two lap cars. It might start giving him some dirty air. But I don't think I'm going to be able to break through anything, even if he does have some dirty air. Right a lot lower entry there. cars that we're catching. The only hope is he gets too much push from any of these guys that we're catching and puts it in the wall. We are gaining just a little bit on him. But not a whole lot. It's barely a tenth. minutes left. Might get another tenth out of him here to get down to that point seven mark. He's pushing a little bit. out of his way and be in a horrible spot for me on exit, I think. Nope. Alright, got by there. We're at point seven, but we're running out of laps, and I don't think we're going to be able to get inside that point seven. Just trying to keep it just inside of his wake. Starting to cross over that line. It's got to be nearing point six there. Felt like we gained quite a bit on him. Six. Need about a hundred more laps. Want to 
to see what bringing it a little lower down there would do. It didn't really help out. He's got a little more dirty air to deal with again. We're going to be coming up on the white flag. And just not going to have any, any chance to get through the bubble. Good news though, no packet loss. So we are back to racing, although I'm not sure that would be called racing, but um, at least I got the jump on the start and uh, come away with a second place. Otherwise, I probably would have been stuck in third. So uh, we'll go watch that start. I feel like I was a little too easy on the start and should have attacked him, but I don't know if I could have even stayed out ahead of him. If I got there, and I don't think I would, even with the fresh tires. So. That's just uh, a weird, weird form of racing. He was hanging back, so I was expecting an early start. He went, and then he kind of didn't go, so I had to drag the brakes a bit, but was able to just stay right on top of him. but is what it is so hope you enjoyed it and uh, figure out what else I can get made up before the end of the week thanks for watching